Let me show y'all how I took this wig from Tragic to Magic. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not, hey friends. My bra is hanging out. I usually wear sports bras, but I need a little extra lift today. Anyway, today I'm gonna to be doing a synthetic wig transformation and refresh. A lot of you guys had said that you really wanted to see that video. I am using a very old wig. It was horrible. Um, this material is very synthetic, like it's super fake, it's like Barbie doll hair. Um, it was cheap, so what? It was very, very damaged, it was matted, it was looking real crazy. Your girl looked like she got into a bar fight, and then was hung over, and then rolled out the bed, and tripped and fell in some bushes. Yeah, she was looking real crazy. It took a lot of, um, love, but we got her a little bit slayed today, look I got the baby hair is popping. So anyways, let me show y'all how I took this wig from Tragic to Magic. Anyway, first of all, I have the Brandywine Shampoo and Conditioner for Synthetic and Human Hair Wigs. I will link these down below for you guys. Obviously, you're gonna need water. That's a given. And then I have my secret weapon, Gain Liquid Fabric Softener. It smells amazing and it will work a miracle child, okay? You will learn that fabric softener is your best friend when it comes to the synthetic wigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process now, so keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I did was detangle my wig while it was still dry. I just took a little paddle brush and I brushed it from the ends and worked my way to the top. And then I flipped my wig over and I brushed underneath because as you can see here, that is where the most matting was. So yes, make sure you get all the tangles out. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Lighting is awful. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and wash the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and use the kitchen sink because it's just easier, it's stainless steel, it's super easy to clean. So, let's go. Okay, so once you get to this step, just fill up the sink with enough water to submerge the hair. And then you're gonna add the Brandywine shampoo. I just followed the instructions on the back and I added about two capfuls, gave it a nice little swirl as you can see there, and then I went ahead and I submerged the hair. I let that sit for about 10 minutes and then right before I pulled it out, I gave it a swirl and then I pulled it out. Y'all, look how dirty this water is. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, then go ahead and make sure you fully rinse out all of the shampoo from your wig. So the next step is to fill the sink again and use the lukewarm or room temperature water. And then I added two capfuls of the Brandywine conditioner, gave it a swirl just like last time, and then I went ahead and submerged my wig in that. I let it sit for about 20 minutes this time, but keep in mind the longer you leave it, the softer it's gonna get. So then I took the wig out and I did not rinse out the conditioner. Then I filled the sink just a little bit with hot water and I added two capfuls of the Liquid Gain Fabric Softener. I didn't wanna to add too much water because I wanted the hair to soak up as much of the fabric softener as possible. So I set that in there, I submerged it yet again, and I took it out after about 30 minutes. Once that was done, I drained the sink and then I rinsed the hair really, really well in hot water. And once the hair was fully rinsed out, I just wrung out all the excess water very gently and then I laid it across the sink to air dry. And then once the hair has air dried, you can move on to the next step. Now that the wig has been washed, conditioned, we've added our fabric softener, it's nice and soft, we can go ahead and style our wig. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so when you're moving on to the styling portion, you wanna make sure that your wig is still a little bit damp. I let mine dry a little bit too long, so you'll see I just added a little bit of water and I'm brushing it through. If I was keeping it curly, I wouldn't have put any heat on it, but I wanted to see what it looked like straight. But just keep in mind, if you put heat on this, if you have a wig that has waves or curls, more than likely the curls will not come back. So what you're seeing here is I put my flat iron on a lower setting. I think I did about 370, but just make sure you check the packaging of your wig to see what your wig can tolerate. But the reason why you keep it damp and then you use the heat is so that it will basically stretch out the fiber 
to make it nice and smooth. Do you see how I can just run the comb right through it? Yes, girl, that is smooth. Okay, so then I just worked my way around the entire wig. And again, if you want to keep your wig curly, you do not need to add this heat here. If I had wanted to keep this wig wavy, what I would have done is just spray it again just to dampen it and brushed it through just to make sure there was no tangles or anything like that. And then I would have just let it completely air dry overnight and the curls would have been back. It would have been bouncy. It would have been a lot softer and no tangles like how it was when we first started. But anyways, so I straightened this. Like I said, the flat iron and the moisture combined is just kind of basically melting the fibers and stretching it out and smoothing it out. So I just worked my way around the wig, as you can see here. If you have a thicker wig or a longer wig, you can section it off so that you can get the underneath. This wig's not that thick, so I just, I didn't even clip it up. I just, I just did my thing. Look at that, look how smooth it is, tangle free. I did have to trim the ends of this just because it was cut weird. It used to be a really long wig and I had cut it shorter because I didn't know what I was doing to get the tangles out. But anyway, I ended up cleaning it up and now you can see what it looks like. All right, so that is how I achieved this look with my synthetic wig. I have refreshed, restored, and renewed this baby. All the products that I use are linked down below for you guys. It was cheap, but look, I don't wanna to have to repay for another wig, so it's a really good, quick, easy fix for it. If you guys liked this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. If it was helpful, make sure to comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you get alerted every single time I upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for being here and have a blessed day. Bye. We went from looking cray cray to Ooh, baby. Just kidding. Oh my God. Why am I so dumb?